she ever teach Lou Armstrong? No, there's no chance. She was only there six weeks. Part of her training, apparently. What? Which one are you, dozy dickwipes? Came up with this brave notion. Hey, nobody touches the body till forensics get here. Well, that's what they said. Get Billy Cartwright on the phone now. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brenda. <laughs> They did that shot a few times. I was exhausted. I thought you had a leg in it down the beach. <laughs> Where was it shot? Northumberland? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's wonderful, it wonderful lovely? scenery in yeah, Northumberland, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, how did you master... I mean, I, I, look, regional accents are difficult to master. Yeah, it took me that one. years yeah. to get this accent. <laughs> on the same thing. I'm quite, you, is it true you listened to Cheryl Cole's accent? Well, I did. The X Factor happened to be on at the same time we were working, so I'd go back and listen to that while I was, you know, learning the next day's... Uh, scenes and it, <laughs> I just want to go in and mess about in the makeup truck the next morning. I have to say, do you shadow? Yeah, well, yeah, she's right. my street pets. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, it's a hard accent to do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it is. Really it's is notoriously hard. hard. Yeah. I listened to Denise on um, Loose Women yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, because hers isn't that strong, and mine didn't need to be that strong. And there are so many accents in that area, yeah. too. Yeah, my mm. share's doing funny things. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see <laughs> it? Then? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I nearly shot across the table. <laughs> <laughs> Watch now. No. No, it's a, it's a, <laughs> and, but you love Cheryl's dress sense as well, didn't you, I believe? Oh. You're not no, going to start I was, wearing... I was I said, I think Vera should perhaps have an episode with those trousers with the big slits up the sides. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vera's uh, fashion sense will catch on, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that overcoat and them wellies. But it makes sense, isn't it? That, mm, I mean, she's practical. not on a fabulous wage, is she? So she's no. not going to be in design but, I mean, she earns, probably earns more than I do. Yeah. We've got a mock-up <laughs> photo of you here, the shadow. Where is it, please? Let's have a look. There you go. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Can I have a copy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've had a tweet here. I will have a look. And this is from Hattie. And it says, Brenda, you were pretty convincing being stoned in Saving Grace. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have to do much research for that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hattie. Uh, <laughs> um, I had done a little research, yes. <laughs> I, I must own up. Yeah. Can you remember oh, it? <laughs> No, I'm not a smoker, though, so, yeah. What's mm. next for you, Brenda, after Vera? Well, um, hopefully another series yeah. of Vera, yeah. but before that, I'm off to play the Sydney Opera House in Edna O'Brien's play, Haunted. Wow. Yeah, I think you saw yeah. it in Manchester. Yeah. Um, we played New York um, in December, and now we're going to <laughs> Sydney Opera House. You have a very <laughs> glamorous life, Brenda Blatham. Mm. You do, though, don't you? <laughs> Did you ever think this would happen when you were working in, no. in for British no. Rail in the no. Amateur no. Dramatics? No, when we were growing. Up, yeah. you know, no, not back in the mid trousers, you know, um, big and holes in our shoes. That's it. Yeah. Oh, no, and do you know, after I watch Secrets and Lives, with Lies, which is one of my favourite movies, I go around going, Oh, my darling, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart <laughs> darling. I go in shops and do it, Oh, my sweetheart. I People do it to up. me in the street. Oh, do they? Yeah. Because it's such a fabulous film and you're brilliant, yeah. isn't it? They'll start saying, We I now, <laughs> won't they? <laughs> we I <laughs> hen. <laughs> that's, that's wrong, isn't it? That's Glaswegian, <laughs> we I hen. Why I pet. We I pet. Pet. We are. <laughs> Anyone, Geordie, in the audience? Hey. Say, We I pet. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, isn't it? <laughs> well, you do what you like with me after that. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, it's lovely to see you. When's Vera on? Um, it starts a week on Sunday, the 1st of May, 8 o'clock. Fabulous. We've got yeah. something good to watch on a Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoy Brilliant. it. Oh, I will do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brenda Blatton, come on. Good <laughs> luck. Fabulous. Oh, I th They get better as yeah. well. Yeah. Now... <laughs> After the break, another break. I've never known breaks like it, have you? <laughs> After the break, the talk of theatre land herself. Tracy Bennett is going to talk to me and she's going to perform a song oh, from, this is a word I can't yeah. say, the phenomenal, oh, I've said it, the phenomenal <laughs> End of the Rainbow, which is on in the West End. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome back. Time now for my final guest. Now, she's currently tearing the West End apart with her astonishing performance as Judy Garland in the last weeks of her life 
in a play called End of the Rainbow at the Trafalgar Studios here in London. Will you please welcome the lady herself, Tracy Bennett. Let me <laughs> Now, I'd just like to say, she doesn't look like this in real life, Tracy. <laughs> this, uh, you, I look like my grandma, don't I? <laughs> you look <laughs> fabulous. Do you know what? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, I've, you're my no, agent, aren't no, you? No, seriously, I oh. came to see it. I'll be honest with you, I've never been a big fan of Judy's. I always respected her talent, yeah. but she wasn't one of my idols. I didn't have the Judy mania. Yeah. I came out after that adoring the woman. Oh. I've never seen anything. Seriously, I've never oh, seen a performance thanks. like it on stage. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, Brenda. Yeah. Where, Tracy? <laughs> In God's name, do you get the energy from for that <laughs> performance? Eight shows a week. Seven seas tonic. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the famous the tonic, tonic that she had yeah. me on. Uh, a little sit before the show, and I'm flying around. And he said, where do you get the energy? And I said, this tonic. So he went to buy some. Do you want to carry on? <laughs> <laughs> I drank the old bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and he's texting me from, from, from his house going, can't get off the lab. What have you done to me? <laughs> can't get off. I said, you meant to have a teaspoon, Paul. <laughs> I never couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it is amazing, isn't it? I mean, you've seen it, Anthony, haven't you? The... I, I've not seen... No, I saw Tracy a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, it's going on tour, isn't it? Yes, in August. So we're going to see it on the tour. Uh, so I'm thrilled because, you know, you get a bit locked into the West End and that's great, but there's tourists. and the... So I really want to get out there to Cardiff and Northampton and Norwich and Manchester and um, Sheffield. and Wherever I'm going, it'll be on the web, whatever. She Do... says promoting it, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always been a big fan? I mean, did you study her for this? Um, I studied her for this because I had to. I mean, it's, it's hard playing... I mean, what do I know about being a legend? Do you know what? In my own lunchtime, yeah. But um, I, I just had to... When somebody's living like that and everybody has their favourite idea of who she is, so I had to really read everything and watch everything and I was a bit... I had to get obsessed. Yeah. Just to get the body language right, but I didn't want to copy, I didn't want to be an impression. You know, people in America do that brilliantly. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of them. And it's like they are her. Yeah. You know. But you are when you're watching it though. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, I was like you, I laughed earlier because the brief was when I first got the job, we need somebody haggard who's <laughs> you know who's gonna I was like, what what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Tracy. I was used to play rent boys in the early days. <laughs> seriously, I did. That was my first job at the Domino Warehouse on the the game, yeah. Fabulous. I wasn't on the stage, I was outside, outside. going, oh, I'll have one of it. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a, I, when I watched it, I thought, this is a play with music, isn't it? Yeah. That's a, yeah, very much so. Is yeah. it based on fact? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is, but the, there's um, a gay pianist character that's meant to be the way Judy could have gone had she been Francis Gum. Yeah. Uh, her real name, yeah. and lovely farm girl from Minnesota. Yeah. Um, who, who was sweet and just had this big personality and obviously a big gob and all, you know. <laughs> but, um, it, 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 so that, the character in there is for people to think, oh, God, she could have just lived a nice, simple life. Because you watch it and you laugh and then you're like, your heart's breaking for it yeah. and it's all there in the show, it's just... Well, I hope it's... I've tried to be simpatico. You have, you are, you know, you come this. out and you love Judy. It's so good. moving. Isn't it? So yeah. incredibly moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it is hard to do in that respect, mm. emotionally. You know but... where this should go? Broadway. <laughs> no, oh, it shouldn't oh, come it? On. it should be on Broadway, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. But there's no one to touch you, seriously. Oh, you? Thank there's been two shows nice. I've seen in the West End that I've gone, what? Well, one was War Horse. Oh, that blew yeah. me apart. Oh, beautiful. I mean, how can you cry over a puppet? I know, but you do. <laughs> I was crying my eyes out oh. when the horse gets caught in the barbed wire. I nearly oh, stood up no. and nearly did a boxing. It's a lot of the horse. <laughs> Bad Barbara Windsor pulling me down. Thank God. Yeah. Don't you dare, don't you dare open your mouth sharp. Oh, yeah. I'm the same beautiful. with you, you know, I was like. Well, it'll be... I was be, worn um... out, seriously. When I came out, I was... What, we sat in the pub, I was like... Oh. I was a complete nervous wreck. And then you took goes, your tonic. Yeah. <laughs> and I took my tonic and went missing for four days on the lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, as I said, where, where she's from, so that'll be uh, tough for me. Yeah. 
because they'll all know, you know, the story and everything. But you just have to be brave and risk it, you know what I mean? They're going to go crazy you, for you. Do you I'm think? Telling. Yes. Oh. I've never seen so many standing ovations in one <laughs> show in <laughs> <No>, my <laughs> life. Honestly. <laughs> now, do you still get... Because Tracy was in Coddy, weren't you, many yes, years ago? Yes. You're playing Reese's Foster Daughter. Yeah, Sharon. Sharon Gaskell. Oh, look! There she is. Oh, my there God. She is. No, that was the face at the wedding. Yeah, that's right. That. Yeah, yeah. Do you still get recognised as Tracy? Um, I, I don't look for it, but it's bizarre. It's the voice more. Yeah. It's yeah. the voice because I, I wear glasses and I don't wear makeup at all in the day, and I'm scruffy actually. But um, as soon as I start to speak, they they're go. going, uh, "Are that's you that girl off that?" Yeah. yeah. They yeah. can't quite remember. Yeah. But as soon as I say Sharon and she was getting married, they, they kind of get it, or they go. No, no, I thought it was Susie Quattro. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and I love. She trained as a stunt woman, didn't you? Yeah. What oh, possessed God. you? <laughs> Don't know. I must have been mad. I, I was working for Tommy Steele at the time, and I met this really um, fit lad in both respects. <laughs> and um, uh, and he was talking about this stunt. Yeah, he was gorgeous. <laughs> Sergey, he was called. He was Russian. He was fabulous. And um, and he said he was training up, and would I like to train with him? Because they need partners for things. So in in those days, you had to like be proficient in seven out of thirteen things. So, of course, then I got the street and time moved on and the, the street was funding it. So then I was doing, like, sword fighting and motor car rallying, boxing, funnily enough, had to beat you. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll go back, I'll go back. No, no. Um, and I was flying airplanes from Blackpool. And so I went in one day and they called me in. Different Hang to the on a minute, you were flying, flying in a plane. I was, well, one of the stunts, you know, oh, you had to yeah, learn to fly yeah, helicopters yeah, and stuff yeah. if you wanted to be yeah. one of the things. So I started learning how to fly aeroplanes. Sounds camp, but I was using the money from the street to do that. <laughs> so they called me in a day earlier. So I said, oh, I can't come in. And <laughs> Bill Podmore, the producer, went, why not? I said, because I'm learning how to fly aeroplanes at Blackpool <laughs> Airport. He was like, what? <laughs> he said, you, you're on first call, I need you to film while you're flying aeroplanes. And I said, well, I'm training up to be a stunt girl. It, you know, because that's what I want to be. I'm just using this money. <laughs> and then, what are you laughing at? Um, wait, <laughs> oh, sorry. So, yeah, sorry. So, uh, so, Tracy, I'll carry on. I always ignored it. Completely <laughs> <laughs> ignored it. So him. then they said, we can't insure you. You, are, you, are, you have to have to do something. <laughs> OK, Tracy, okay, okay, you'll have to it. sing. Will you get up and we'll sing for sing, us? Yeah, Go get on. yourself ready. Go Thanks. on. Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy okay. Leonard. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. All right, folks. Are you ready for this? Singing just in time from the hit musical End of the Rainbow. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise the roof for Tracy Bennis as Judy Garland. <laughs> I found you just in time Before you came My time was running My bridges all will cross, no where to go.
Sai, fala da Follow that, folks, eh? Tracy Bennett, let's hear you. Come on. Right. A big thank you to all my wonderful guests tonight. Amir Carr, Bella Jam, Anthony Cotton, and, of course, a lovely Brenda Blethard. Let's hear you. Come on. See you back here next Friday at 9, because we've got a royal wedding special. Oh, yes. So have a lovely Easter weekend. Take good care of yourselves. Okay?